adventures of Bio Billy isn't particularly well known for its quality. It is known, however, for its teeth grindingly awful programming and enemies that refuse to f***ing die. These guys come at Billy like a Jeremy Kyle gas, relentlessly punching and kicking their way through the levels. The problem is that the enemies have just about as much health as Ultimate Billy himself, making the game not only terribly difficult, but terribly terrible. Ah! Oh, dude, I got a triple and I got it on video! navigates the stages like an alligator for example which jumps out and kills you the holy second holy crap that's play of the game that's play of the game dude let's play of the game joy number nine castlevania castlevania is set a kind of standard for insane game a bastion for razor sharp rotor blades awkward enemy placements and insta kill arm tree death and all other forms of dilemmas which kids really shouldn't have to do with. yes the oregon trail required only that you survive and click continue to see what happens next and usually next means come your on, death. Come on, no matter the plans or decisions made, it always could be wrong. And it's basically impossible to conquer. The Oregon Trail remains a super realistic portrait of pioneer life that confirms the one thing we already knew to be true anyway. The pioneer Holy life. Holy crap, bro. Number six, Discworld. If you value crap. basic things like, you know, your logic, then it's probably best you don't grab a copy of Discworld anytime soon. Based on the Terry Pratchett novels with the same name, this puzzle-solving point-and-click extravaganza forced players to try and work things out without any basis of normality. The puzzles were so obscure and so illogical, you'd be better suited just clicking around and hoped it solved itself. Obviously, Discworld and logical hey, isn't Ian. the thing that springs to mind, but come on. Ian. When we say obscure puzzles, we really mean obscure puzzles. They're as insane as, like, picking up a key, wiping it on a